been in, uh, I've been in comedy for, uh, it'll be 18 years in May. Yeah. I had this thought recently, which was, oh, there's, there's no going back. <laughs> this is my job. I've always been like, oh, this doesn't work out. I can go back to my, I can't, my last job, I was in fraud telemarketing. You can't go back to fraud telemarketing. Also, by the way, I was recently speaking, I have a, my brother's 20. I was speaking to my, whenever I tell people I'm 38 with a 20 year old brother, people always ask, like, how did you get a 20 year old brother when you're 38? And I was like, I don't know, my dad came in a woman? Like, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not gonna ask questions. Anyway, so I have a 20 year old brother and his favorite, like, how old are you? 24. That's also f so disrespectful. <laughs> I just, just want to punch you. Like, it's just... Like, for f you didn't even exist on 9-11. How disrespectful is that? We did. How old were you then? You were one. Yeah. your pants on 9-11. That's how you honor the, uh, those brave souls, you piece of garbage. <laughs> I was 16 year old. old. I was in Canada, I'll never forget. I was in gym. The gym teacher said, I'll never forget, he said, I don't know if you've heard what happened in New York, but an airplane has landed successfully on one of the towers. Everything is fine. What a great universe I lived in for about 40 minutes until I found out that gym teacher was a idiot. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up telling that joke, but I did. Anyway, so I was talking, oh, that's right, I was talking to my brother, right? He, he asked me, oh, have you done any other job besides comedian? I was like, oh, I was a telemarketer for a while. And then he said, what is that? That made me feel old. That my brother can't comprehend one of my jobs. And so I had to, do you know how hard telemarketer is explained to someone? They have, I finally had to go, you know spam emails? <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah, I went law well, back in the day. Someone used to call you on the phone and read that to you. 